What do you think of our main title, Chris? I hate it. Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks. Hard Knocks. Yeah, better. Babe alert. Conference, Nick. <clears throat> All right, the ugly one's yours. They're both gorgeous. No, I mean, like, spiritually ugly. You know, like if one of them's an anti-Semite or something, that one's yours. That's fine. I'm a Presbyterian. I hope you ladies have had all your shots. Boy, oh boy. Producing movies is a thirsty business. <laughs> Excuse us, ladies. My friend here is not a movie producer, and neither am I. <laughs> We're Kennedys. Let me explain something to you, uh, Teddy. Arnold. Fine. We're looking for a fun night with a couple of guys who are reasonably attractive, totally forgettable, and preferably on a brain hiatus. We'd like to get going because we've got surgery in the morning. You're having surgery? No, we're performing it. Don't move, Bronco. Flinch in your cold meat. It's my play, Gower. Fine, I'll hide behind me and I'll protect the women. <laughs> if you ladies will excuse me for one moment, I'll be right back after I break this man's face. <laughs> Drop the gun! First, I drop you. Even if you hit me, you'll be dead before I hit the ground. <laughs> You're all talk, kid. Say goodbye to your heartbeat. You got two choices, Nick. Drop it, or shoot it. Ah! I can always back you down with that line. <laughs> Sarge, how the hell are you? <laughs> Male bonding. That's what we're looking for. Oh, Sarge, you remember Gower Rhodes? Gower Rhodes, you remember my first partner, Sarge O'Bannon. Nick, do you know how hard it is to get a doctor to make a house call these days? <laughs> how you doing, Sarge? You're still with the flake, huh, Nick? Now, listen, how long has it been? Years. Well, since you guys were, uh, well... You can say it, thrown off the force. No pensions, no thank yous. The all-time raw deal. Now, nah, let's talk about better times, OK? Uh, <clears throat> we have to have them first, Arnie. <laughs> hey. Who are these soft people? Oh, yeah, this is um, Dr. Klamenhaman and Dr. Flamenhaman. <laughs> And this is Maggie. Good Nick, an actual name. <laughs> this is Janice, and I'm Gloria. And if you really believe those are our names, and you're just what the doctor ordered. Great. So why don't we grease up and get in the pile? <laughs> There's a sentence often heard around the Kennedy compound. Hey, Sarge, so what's with the suitcases? Well, I quit the force. Thinking of doing a little traveling. I got my uh, clothes in here and my uh, future in here. 
Hey, listen, you can stay upstairs with us. Yeah, Gower will stay on the couch. Uh, Nick, I was kind of hoping to stay on Dr. Flamenhamen. <laughs> well, that'll be great, because Gloria and I would like a little privacy. I'm sure you and Janice feel the same way. Hold on there, bristle brain. <laughs> We've got a problem here. You see, I've already marked this territory with my scent. <laughs> you know, like a tomcat. Oh. I didn't think it was possible, but you just made Mr. Grease up and get in a pile look like David Niven. <laughs> Sarge. <laughs> I'll get this one, Sarge. Uh, I got that one, Nick. <laughs> Hello, breakfast. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Marking a woman with your scent? <laughs> Not exactly an Alan Alda move. You're supposed to be the sensitive part of the team. Oh, that wasn't it. They just never believed I was a Kennedy. <laughs> Myself. How many times have we told ourselves, don't spend the night? I know. I'm actually looking forward to bisecting that colon. <laughs> so, how was yours? Barely adequate. What about Nick? Not bad. Had better. You know what's weird? Sarge wept through a lot of it. <laughs> Nick's a talker. All this weird cop stuff. <laughs> like what? Like, oh, baby, oh, baby, there's a 703 in progress. <laughs> What'd you expect from a couple of airheads? <laughs> hey, nice talk. What ever happened to sensitivity, compassion, privacy? Hello, Mr. Kennedy. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Kennedy. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, the two of you. I never heard such cruelty in my life. Thank God men aren't like this anymore. We're more respectful, more tender. You won't hear us telling intimate details about our sexual adventures last night. Be gone from this house! <laughs> Charts. <laughs> and hey, leave those donuts! Pussy. <laughs> cannot believe the juvenile behavior displayed by women nowadays. tank around here this morning, huh, boys? <laughs> morning, Gower. Morning, Rhodes. Good morning, Nick. Crybaby. <laughs> nothing, sorry, they said nothing. Anybody want some tea? What is that thing? It's a tea ball. A tea ball? <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's one of them uh, Chinese communist things, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, Sarge, it's a communist thing. Every time I use it, I feel like invading Afghanistan. <laughs> Why are you always busting my chops, Sarge? You know, I was a pretty darn good cop in my day, too. Yeah, right. Well, I'd uh, hate to be a hopped-up armed robber and have to stare down the business end of that T-ball. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, that guy really steams my clams. Oh, come on. He's a little rough around the edges. But he taught me everything I know about being a cop. He's my only idol, man. Well, except for those ten dudes from the Dirty Dozen. <laughs> the ten dudes from the Dirty Dozen are your idols, Nick? Love those guys. And frankly, I'd rather have them in there than that guy. Hey! Where's my banana? What? What's the matter? Nick, I specifically put a banana in there last night. Now, who took it? You or him? Must have been him. What did it look like? Don't joke, Nick. This is not funny. Even the dirty dozen wouldn't take a person's last banana. And by the way, why are you dressed like the big kahuna? Oh, going to the beach today. Going to Jones Beach. Really? Yeah. Catch some rays, swim, drink beer, chase women. You know. America. <laughs> well, you have yourself a real nice time. Well, we're going to have a great time. You want to come with us? Oh, 
You don't really want me to, do you? If I didn't want you to come, I wouldn't ask. I'm not gonna beg you, Gareth. If you want to come, get ready. Hey, Sarge, let's hit the road. God bless America. Yeah! <laughs> Hey, Sarge. Gidget goes Cro Magnon, huh? What are you talking about? Nothing, Sarge, nothing. I just get a little edgy if I haven't had my morning banana. Banana? Yeah, ne never mind, Sarge. Look, we'll, we'll have a good time. We'll all we'll go to the beach, where a man is not judged by his political philosophy, but by the size of his radio. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm ready. Hey, hey let's go! Hey, where's Gower? Gower? Yeah, I asked him to come along with us. Oh, yeah, well, I talked to him. He said he wanted to stay at home. Really? Gower loves the beach. What can I tell you? The guy's weird. <laughs> hey, so we going or what, huh? <laughs> yeah, sure, it's hit the road. Hey, hit me. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> been born yet, it can resist me and these duds. <laughs> Dick, come on, I got a sunblock 38, make you feel like you're in a total eclipse. Nick. Hey, Nick. Hey, guys. Hey, Nick, wait up, wait. Sick him. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't wait for me. Master. Ramalama. Master, it is... Gower Rhodes. Oh, Master, you amaze me. You never even opened your eyes. You're one of the few people I know that still wears patchouli. Yes, well, Master, I come to you today with a problem. It's about my friend Nick. Fly. Fly like birds. <laughs> what is this, Master? A new deal? You'll get flying. We can become airborne. Huh. Well, what was wrong with good old meditation? No aerobic value. Well, Master, I need your help. Can you still show me the way? I can show you the way. I can sell you a Subaru. I've got a dealership in Queens. Master, I, I don't need a car. I need a wise man. I'm trying to tell you I have a problem with my partner, Nick. Did he shoot your girlfriend again? Not recently. There is a rent in the fabric of our relationship, Master. An old friend of his has moved in, a man named Sarge. Not an evolved person, Master. He has less spirituality than Jack Lord. I know the type. He probably weeps when he's with a woman. Oh, master, that third eye of yours is seeing 2020. You ought to see me with a racing form. Yeah. Well, Master, today they, they went to the beach without me. Calamari, you must search your heart and find a way to forgive. And they stole my banana. The scumbag. <laughs> Look, I know this is your idea, Easter Newer, but I'm in pain over here. I feel about as dispensable as the white people on Webster. <laughs> I need your help. You're not seeing things the way they are. Your view of reality is distorted. It's not what the rest of us see. <laughs> Wayne, duck! Maybe not. Another near miss. My advice to Calamari, love him whom you hate. Flow with time and space. Glide. Say, 
I love you. I love you. Good. Now fly. Fly? <laughs> fly this? Master. Fly? No harm can come to you when you fly. Huh. Tell that to Buddy Holly. <laughs> Nick's friend Sarge. Is his name O'Bannon? Why, yes. You, you mystify me, O learned one. He's as muddled as a thousand rivers of rain. And now I'm mystified and confused. He travels the black road of the lonely soul. Look, speak English and I'll double your session price. Where has it that he left the force dirty, lost his pension? How is it that you possess such knowledge, Master? I fly with the police commissioner. He's into yoga? He's into Learjets. We share a hanger. You must warn Nick with love. Oh, groovy. I'm gonna tell my best friend that his idol's a dirty cop? He'll hate me for it. He'll think I'm just doing it out of jealousy. I'm in worse shape than when I came in here. I'm hip. <laughs> we call it flyer's butt. Go soak your cheeks in herbal butter. <sighs> Can I be frank with you, Rama? I think you coasted through this one. <laughs> Rama Lama Inc., a division of Beatrice. <laughs> Great day, man. Uh, this chick lost her top in the shore break. Uh, Enormous sepulvitis. I love you, Nick. Aw, oh, jeez. Uh, You've been talking to the Ramalama Ding Dong again, haven't you? Oh. oh. Well, yes, Nick. I did see the master today. What's that name he calls you? Squidhead? Palomari, if you please. Yeah, right. That guy came to Earth on the same saucer as Timothy Leary. Maybe so. You told me something pretty disturbing about your friend Sarge today. Yeah? The police commissioner told the master that Sarge left the force dirty. Get out of here. Nick, this is not easy for me either. But I'm telling you, Sarge left with a half a million dollars in heroin. I don't want to hear this crap. I learned to be a cop from Sarge. I'm not going to sit here and let you and, and Obi-Wan Cannoli put him down. <laughs> Nick, that's why I'm telling you this. I went to see Rama today because he used to be my mentor. But even Rama isn't the man I remember. That's what happens to idols, Nick. They change. And sometimes for the worse. You're blowing smoke. Am I? Then let's go home and look inside that suitcase. Sarge won't let anybody near. I bet it's full of skag. That's a lie. Then let's look. If there's no dope, I'll apologize and shut up forever. I lose the bet. If that suitcase is empty, Gower, you've lost more than a bet. You've lost a friend. Nick. Nick! So just take a second. This isn't right, Gower. Trust me, Nick. I trust Sarge, too. Nick, I swear to God, this was filled with heroin an hour ago. That's it. 
We're through. You lied to me. I did it, Nick. He didn't, Nick. Well, you're looking at your pension. Yours and mine right here. I was just stepping on it. A half a million in smack. I don't know what to say, Sarge. Come here! I doctored the dope. With what? <laughs> Strychnine. Uh, say, Sarge, you can forget it by replacing that banana. <laughs> you know how we always talked about taking out some vermin? Clean up the streets a little? Well, now we're more than talk. We are the Reaper Man. I would have done anything for you, Sarge. But not this. What are you talking about, kid? <sighs> On my first beat, you taught me to stay clean. Don't even take a candy bar, you said. Don't even take a donut, you said. And he didn't. And neither did I. Unless you count a cruller. But a cruller is technically not a donut, because a donut has a hole. I mean, <laughs> times change. I was a sucker. And you are, too. Hey, look! You don't want to get rich? <laughs> Twice as much for me. Now for the hard part. Leave the dope, Sarge. I can't let you out there killing people. Not people. Junkies! Hey, come on, it's me, Nick! You were always just as hard as I was, a scum. That's talk. Well, the talking's over for both of you. I'm gonna let this do my talking for me. <gasps> <laughs> Sorry. Just having one of those bad 50s movie flashbacks. <laughs> Continue. Don't do it, Sarge. I don't buy it, Nick. You want it all. Well, you're not getting it. The old Sconcheroonie, huh? Yeah, that's right. There's one in the nightstand, the medicine chest, the freezer, and in a baggie in my box of Cocoa Pebbles. That's right, buddy, in the box of Cocoa Pebbles. A very deadly... 38 caliber. Bam, bam, rubble, bubble, blow. Back to the fight. <laughs> drop the gun, Sarge. First, I drop you. Even if you hit me, you'll be dead before I hit the ground. You're all talk, kid. Say goodbye to your heartbeat. You got two choices, Nick. Drop it or shoot it. I could always back you down with that line. Look at my face, man. Now drop the gun, or I'm gonna send you to hell. On the floor. Now the dope. Now get out. Unbelievable. Yeah. You okay, bud? Yeah? You? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it's weird back there. My whole life flashed before my eyes. And in almost every scene, Whoopi Goldberg showed up. <laughs> God, that chick is everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I know that was intense. Nah, I couldn't have shot him. Oh, baloney, Nick. You can't fake me without a look in your eye. You would have shot him. I didn't say I wouldn't have shot him. I said I couldn't have shot him.
104, the case of Hernando Barrera. The muckraking TV reporter who exposes at the Union Square. The boys have a chance to get even. Hernando is convinced that Lucky Luciano's vaults are beneath us, and <laughs> he's going to open them on live television. It's payback time. How's it going in the hole? <clears throat> oh, better now, thanks. <laughs> You're gonna dig it, because it's not just another cop show. It's hard knocks. <laughs> Only on Showtime.